March 15th. Spring sure hit quick. When it warmed up, it warmed up. So bittersweet. I always hate this time of year because snowmobiling's over and it's too wet to do anything else. So it's kind of a wasted time, but uh, I'm sure there's lots to do. So there's, this is a rig I've been driving for the past all winter because I got my F-150 apart in Haley's garage because uh, I'm going to do the timing set on it. Started making some noise. So once I get back to work and get back on my feet, I'm going to uh, fix the engine on that. So for now I'm driving Haley's old Yukon. When I first got it, all these headlights here were smashed out. So I was just driving with the uh, lights on one side and I was snowmobiling in White Court one time and the high beam light burned out. So I was down to one low beam light. So I went to the scrap yard, found the parts to put some lights back in this thing, put some new bulbs in her. I think that signal lights for, for the opposite side, but she fits. Had to hammer the hood up to uh, get the hood to shut, but uh, there you go. Good, good as new. So there's that. The tarp shed um, kind of survived the winter. <laughs> it uh, this side tore out of it. We just had boards screwed to the metal on the bottom, and the boards ripped off when no one was around, and. Uh, tore it open but that happened quite a while ago and it didn't get any worse so uh <laughs> the rest of it's hanging in there i think Haley got tired of uh maintaining it and keeping her eye on it and he just kind of got frustrated and gave up with it but no really just gotta close the rest in with something and she'll be good There's the old 230 timber jack that I would love to get running. Just gotta get on my feet here and get back working and uh, get things sorted out. That's the mill, would love to get that running. Lots to do, but I think in the next few weeks here, I'm either heading off to work or I'm gonna go start cutting firewood. That's about it. I was just dropping off the trailer there because I'm done with snowmobiling for the year. So I was bringing the trailer back. It was such a nice day out. I figured I'd turn on the camera and just chat for a bit. <laughs> there's the old buzz saw. There's and the wood splitter. There's some cedar slabs still to cut up. A little bit of birch there to cut up. There's one pallet of firewood left from last year and some in the woodshed the slabs to stop and then the plan is all this this here section here. I think Haley wants that to be clear cut. Just cause uh, there's a highway that heads that way. This is an intersection. And there's always people turning in here and parking there and turning around and Haley from the house he can't see what they're doing. He's always paranoid. So he wants to clear cut this corner right here. So he has a clear view down to the end of his driveway. So, well, there's a scrap here. Some bit bigger trees along here. But this road here, it's a highway. It's his driveway. And this side road actually goes through some oil lease stuff in there. So there is some traffic on this road occasionally so probably could fall trees across the road but can't keep the road blocked for too long in case uh someone comes to check the oil lease <laughs> there's power lines there but it shouldn't be too bad Oop. 
we'll just knock them i think if i can just knock the trees down and drag them in and process them in there so that's a project it was supposed to happen sooner but you know snowmobiling <laughs> what a beautiful day down at the back side of the property here you can see right you probably can't see it right there ish somewhere it's a little shelter that i built i was always meaning to get back and do another camp out but maybe i'll have to do that soon do a camp out slash wood cutting week sure is nice out that's all i got for today just cruising around have a good one guys